There we go. E power. Alright. So what are the differences between the basics and the elements? Basics are just things that will not be in a biology. This is more like the structure of how a biology is created. So like any way, you have an introduction to the conclusion of But in the case of a biography, this is where you introduce the subject, the person who is it about, or what that's called. Okay, great, now I know who it's about. And explain who it is, because maybe someone actually doesn't know anything about who's that. He's a just a musician, rock star maybe. No, he's a great inventor. Okay, so that's what he's doing here. Personal background, where were they born? Tell us about their family, any important events in their childhood. And number three is the most important part. This is why we have a biography about them in the first place, because they have major achievements and accomplishments. And it will highlight the major milestones. What is a milestone? Anybody? What is a milestone? No. Good. So you learn a new word then. A milestone is an event, like a stepping stone, something that changes your life dramatically. It has a huge effect on you. A great example is you move from your country clear across the other side of the world to stay the rest of your life. That has a huge impact on you for the rest of your life. That's a milestone. There's no that. Things you have achieved. Things you have done. Better go. Alright, and now you have four key events and experiences. This focuses on everything that shaped your life, including any challenges they face and how they overcame them. Now, this is important because challenges and overcoming challenges. Is connected to major achievements and accomplishments. Why? Because to overcome a challenge is an achievement and it is an accomplishment in itself. Further, uh, the very reason they have achieved and accomplished something usually is because they faced some kind of a challenge and they want to overcome it. That is also their major achievement and accomplishment. These are intimately connected. Finally, five, well, not finally yet, significance of the person. So we're telling you before, we're going to make a presentation about problems in the world, right? You make it personal to the people. So this part of the site, the impact they have on society and their group of study, the work in general. I already did that. So part of this could be in your introduction. Maybe a little bit. You want to find it here. You want to put a little bit there to get them to be interested. As soon as I say 80% of our technology comes from the Nikola Tesla, that hooks the reader. Now they want to know more. And all the rest I say to you here. So what I'm going to say about the impact is that we look like what kind of impact, etc. Finally, your conclusion. You summarize like all things, everything you've said about the person life and their legacy, and how they continue to influence history, culture, or anything in the world. And so what that's what I way said you wanted to use science so that you can make uh, a better life for humanity. That's a paraphrase. That means it's not exactly what he said, it's in my own words, but that is something like what he said. So, now that we have that, we will move on to our biography. And we will do this, and after we will play the game to see if you can find key elements and basics in the biography of us. I'm coming to that, be ready for it if you want to win the game. Alright, now we go to the picture. Make sure we get the right one here. Yes, perfect. All right then. So this is a photo of a bookmark. A bookmark is something you place inside a book. So you do not lose your page. That is a real bookmark. Someone took a photo of it and put it online and I downloaded it for you. This is the manual. There's some information here, but where it does appear is on the flip side. Now, what I didn't tell you yet is that a good biography will usually have quotes from the subject. What better way to feel you know someone than to hear what they actually said? A biography is someone talking about them. Well, you should include something the person themselves actually said. 
Here we have a good deal of that. Now you'll notice this starts off with biological aspects. It's not a biography yet, because it lacks so much of what it's required. This is too short, but it has certain aspects that you might want to describe. I will do this for you. Patrick Monet Cleaver, born in County Cork, Ireland. Right? We saw that in the basics of his birth. Where was he born? And spent three years military service for Maxie's 41st Regiment of Foot. An American citizen in the top of Arkansas has his call. Exactly like my example. When he was a child, he moved from Ireland all the way to America. He exchanged his nationality. He was identified as an American. Alright, that is a milestone. It's a huge impact on his life. It's a life changing event. And I'll tell you, it's not a movie. We don't know nothing about him. The reason we know about him is because he was a general in the Southern War for Independence. And let's see what he has to say about it. Remember, I told you earlier today that the, those who win the war are those who are able to control and project their version of history so that everyone hears it. They all heard the narrative of the North. And today we will hear a little bit of the South. So that you will see you need to think critically about everything. You cannot just believe the history you've been told. You need to hear the other part of the story and then judge which one makes more sense based on facts that we do know are true and logic. Alright, what does the one have to say? On May 7, 1861, he penned the following in the letter. I am with the South in life or in death, in victory or defeat. I never owned a Negro. What is a Negro? A Negro is a black person. They got, most of them came from Nigeria. So, in other words, he has never owned a slave. And care about me for them. But these people have been my friends and stood up to me on all occasions. Does that sound like a racist to you? No. He has no slaves and he considers that many of them his friends. Already we see a very different story here from what I have told. Let's continue. I believe the Lord is about to wage a brutal and unholy war on who have done them no wrong. In violation of the Constitution and the fundamental principle of government, what is the Constitution? Anyone? No? The Constitution is what is written down as unchanging rules for the government. They cannot change. It is the founding fathers who wrote this down, and it exists, it's supposed to exist for the entire lifespan of the country. So he is saying that the North caused the war and was in violation of the Constitution in the North. And I know what he's talking about. And I'll tell you that in the Constitution it said that any state would join the Union could leave any time they want, no questions asked. And that's what the South did. They felt they were not being treated well, they separated, they made their own country. And that was their constitutional right to do so. But then the North invaded. That's what he's talking about here. They no longer acknowledge that all government derives its validity. Validity, what's that? It means that it's real, it's authentic, it deserves to be there. From the consent of the government, the government is the people, people in that they are about to invade our peaceful homes, destroy our property, and operate a survival discretion after they are there. They're saying that they're going to do something unjustified, like everything else is saying here. Murder our men and dishonor our We propose no invasion of the North. Meaning they have no intention to attack No attack on them, and only have to be left alone. That's the key ones. I have heard from the map. We'll go to the next point. And all of this is here to get you interested into learning more about him. The biography I will show you has only one real quote in it, but it does have one. Well, 
not that one yet. There we go. All right. Any of you who have heard about the what they call the Civil War, which is actually the Southern War of Independence, or you can say the American Revolutionary War Part Two. You've all heard that it's all about slavery. That's a lie, and we more talks about it here. It is that slavery is all we are fighting for, and if we give it up, we give up all. Even if this were true, which we deny. What is denied? Uh, reject. Reject. So he is saying that is not true. We're not fighting for slavery. You're claiming that. Even if it was true, which we say it's not, slavery is not all Palestinians are fighting for. It is merely the pretense. That, in this context, means an excuse. It's just an excuse to establish sexual superiority. Remember, I talked about the word superior, right? And a more sexualized form of government and to deprive us of our rights and liberty. So, according to Patrick Peter, they are fighting for their freedom. Very good. We go to the class most now. This, as you can see, is very old. That's why it's all around. Some people preserved this for hundreds of years and then took a photo of it. That's what paper looks like when it gets hundreds of years old. It gets yellow. It gets a thousand years old. It might be grown. All right. So, this is what Rayborn has to say about the possible outcome of the world. And I've already told you this before. Surrender means that the history of this. Heroic struggle, what is heroic? More than brave, virtuous, right? So, someone who's a hero, you know, superheroes, yes. Spider Man, right? They are heroic. So they're saying that they're, they are heroes, they are heroes. These are not people who believe, oh, yeah, yeah, well, who like to eat stuff, you know? That's what it says. But you're hearing a very different story from this general. And believe me, you might be only one. But this is not a history lesson. This is a lesson in biography, so we're going to try to focus as much as we can on that aspect. See, the primary means that the history of the world is so really written by the enemy, as I told you before, that are usually trained by Norths, who teachers their version of the war, will be impressed by all the influences of history and education to regard, regard means to think about it. Our gallant, gallant is brave, dead as traitors. <laughs> right, a backstabber, a betrayer. And the mark indeed has taught that they were treasonous, that they betrayed the country. Wrong. They respectfully obeyed the constitutional law and activated their rightful fortitude. But he's right about what they teach. And our main veteran has been subjects for British, main injured veterans, those who fought for the South. Subjects for derision, derision is ridicule. They make fun of them, laugh at them, and they're fools rather than the heroes that they are. This is what he said, and it came true. Exactly word for word. I'm from the South. I first heard this important narrative. In my own research, and I made the conclusion that I was lied to, and that this is the truth. You judge for yourselves. Let's continue now to the final part. All right, so now I will hand you up. The, is there anything we covered for the biography and leave that with you as we read the chart itself? Thank you. 
through that study as well, I'm trying to get the answer to the Okay, so as you can see here, it's not a very long biography, so I'm going to give you a big book. This is just about the page. We'll read this together. Remember, uh, when we read this, we'll play a game to see how many key elements and basic elements from the sound that's playing that is now to be built in. Is this here? So I will get the first sentence and we will continue. Oh, the stone wall of the West. I have to clarify what they mean by that. Stone wall of the West because in the East they had Stonewall Jackson, another general, far more famous than Patrick Cleaver. And I respect Stonewall Jackson a lot. But he's not as well known, and I'm starting to like this guy more than him. Alright, so he's the Stonewall of the West, which means he's like Stonewall Jackson. He's very good. Patrick remained the one was one of the Confederacies, Confederacy is the South, finest commanders in the West of Theater. The one from St. Patrick's Day, this native Irishman, was nevertheless extremely loyal to his adopted country. Adopted to the adopted like a child, said, If this Confederacy that was so dear to my heart is doomed to fail, I pray heaven may let me fall with it, while my face is toward the end, and my arm battling for that which I know to be right. Sadly, the Lord would have his wish. Okay? Who wants to read the next one? Want to try first? Okay, go ahead, right here. Can you read? Thank you. Military. Right. 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 Right.
Personal background, I guess, where do you see that? What, what, what aspects of this personal background do 
Sí. Great, 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 great
my grandson is going to read what you wrote about a very great drive. Okay, great. Thank you, Mark. 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 Thank you, Mark.